thanks again for joining me for another video. Uh, I'm doing another Get Ready With Me, and I really wanted to talk and interact um, with the video, but I talked so much this time that um, it was way too long, so I needed to trim it down, so I'm doing a voiceover. But I am gonna guide you through the products I used. Um, so I am doing my foundation. I used three different colors, 146, 135, and 117 in the Dynair Soft Glow um, Airbrush Foundation. And it, I find it covers fine lines really well, discoloration. I had gone ahead and done concealer before this to kind of cover up anything. So once again, I apologize, it's so fast. But um, like I said, I tried talking in this video and it was just too much. Anyway, so I'm cleaning out my guns. And once again, it's another early morning. I film this at four or five in the morning. It's just my new routine. I, I try to get the videos in the morning, go to work, and then edit at night. And for the longest time, I freelanced. I For over, over five years, I just worked for myself. And then I had an opportunity to get into the publishing industry, and I decided to go for it. And now I'm doing both. So I know that sounds crazy, but bear with me. There is a method to the madness. And I find that I'm doing a lot of get ready and doing glam looks that people can wear every day. So it's stuff to inspire you to get dressed, get ready, do your hair and makeup, and add a little glitter liner by Tickled Pink, just as we're just seeing here. So they're an airbrush company that I love. Um, they do organic aloe products, and I'm using their black liner and their gold glitter. And I've done the reverse and done the glitter first and then the liner to test it out. Um, and I'm using their sealer over top. They also have a sealer or a mix with their glitter so it adheres. And I love both because they didn't have any fall off. And usually with uh, powder liners or with glitter, it falls everywhere. This didn't. So that was amazing. I'm just going to pencil in my eyebrows. And I'm also going to add in some airbrush on the corners of my eye because I don't love how that line looks. And that's just something I love to do with the airbrush is create this kind of depth. Um, I used a Kiss Eyelash Pompadour. Um, it had a little volume to it. I love those. And then in the video, I also show you a thin one that I use, but I use my Duo Glue, and I'm just adhering those. And then I'm going to do the airbrush corners at the very end. But as you can see, I already have that depth on the sides, and I've got a little bit of the gold. Straightening my bangs for you, trying to do everything at once. Um, I also have a red glitter, which I love, and I wore that on Valentine's Day, but I didn't have a chance to do a video on that. But today I'm doing the Gold by Tickled Pink Airbrush, so I hope you like it. And um, yeah, I just applied it with a thin 266 MAC brush, angled brush, and I just dipped it on the, the tip of the brush, um, not on the side, so that the product was on the tip. And there I'm going in and I'm just doing the sides. I used Fawn Brown. And then I used a umber, I think it's umber or umber, burgundy for the edges. And then I love these multi-sticks that I just put underneath my eye. This is a rose color. And I love to contrast the colors and play with them. But this multi-stick you can use on your cheek, your lip, your eye. And I love them. As you can see, I was attempting to talk. And I, like I said, it was too long. So I'm going into the eye. I'm using the mascara to just seal the fakes in the real eyelashes so that it opens up the eye and you see more white. And you can see that... Um, as I look into the camera. And then I'm just doing the bottoms. I like to zigzag a little bit across so they don't get onto me and or have fall off. So I'm gonna also go in and tap with a flawless powder. I'm also using, uh, that's the angled brush I was telling you about, the 266 by MAC. It's natural hairs, not the synthetic. And that's important for grabbing powder. And I'm going in and I'm just tapping once again the gold liner in the middle. I didn't love how it looked in the corners, so I'm just going to focus on doing it in the middle for the purposes of this video. And once again, I'm tapping in with the flawless and just using that multi-stick to blend out some of that glitter and just kind of even out the look. And then I used um, a medium pink blush. I added in some bronzer. And I just wanted to even out the look because sometimes doing your makeup early in the morning, it can be too much or too light. So I just wanted to make sure I had some color. And if you're on my Facebook, you'll see that I did a little post on what it looked like in the daylight. Once I got to work, I did about an hour drive. So it's coming together really good. And I'm using, once again, one of my favorite retro matte lipsticks by Wet n Wild. Um, they don't dry out your lips, so I love that. And then I added a little bit of a highlight with the Skin Finish by MAC on my cheeks, nose, and on the tip of my lip, which I find makes it look more round and gives it more volume. So I went in with my airbrush, my 117 Soft Glow, and I just cleaned up around the mouth, under the eyes, wherever I had fall off and I had wiped it off, and just kind of freshened the look. And that's where I was worried that maybe I made it too whitish. So 
I went in with a bronzing powder, a PhD formula from the drugstore, and then I just did the sides and a little bit over the top to blend that out. Um, you'll see that. And then I put a waterproof sealer by Tickle Pink, which I love, and it holds your makeup all day, and it actually did hold my makeup because now it's nighttime and I'm, film I'm editing this video. So it's kind of like the final touch. It holds your eye makeup, holds the glitter. I had no fall off. It was great. So the, I, I'm doing a second part to this video where I did the hair and I showed you how I did some Betty Bangs. This is just an eyebrow kit that I was showing you guys with all its little tools that I found at the drugstore for $6.99. I'll do a video on that. So we're just kind of whipping through this look, but now we're going to get to our final look. I'm just spraying my hair. So prepping it for some big uh, waves and curls that I did. I used a one inch Helen of Troy yeah, iron. As you can see, I got top. some nice beautiful curls. Like an exercise I finished the makeup, natural enough me. to wear to work. Just a little bit of glitter for the purposes of this video. Um, so perhaps many. another time I'll do anyway, a very bound up one. Video. But I'm gonna let you listen to this, so like hang this on. Look. As you can see, it's super curly, super fun. And then I think the last thing if I'm going to do anything is, let's see if I can find it. Oh, I've got this. Yeah, this is okay. okay. I'm just going to do a little bronzer because I feel a little whitish. And being that it's so early in the morning, I never know if maybe I've made my makeup too light or too, you know, bright. So I'm just going to go in around the sides and the contours. I'm just going to brush in a little. Physician's Formula, I believe it's called. Bronzer. Do a little on my nose. I'm gonna leave this bright. Around my mouth's a little whitish, so. I just wanna do that. Might have made no difference, or it might have made the slight difference. Right. And then another absolute favorite, this is an extra, is the Skin Finish. I got this years ago before it was big. Fairly Precious from MAC. Um, it looks like that. It's super pretty. And I don't want a big major highlight. I just want... Can I take a wider brush? I don't know the number. I'm going to have to write this down. It's another MAC brush. And I just gently catch the highlight. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to do it on my nose. Just drag it down. Just a little. Because I am going to work. Just a little on the lip. Which I love little down here and that's it some easy to go get ready work glam it didn't take me long and as you can see the hair is super bouncy and I'll let you know if it lasts all day um, I have a couple tricks for making it last all day but today I just made it nice and quick let's see if this works we added a little bit of product this is super easy to do for every day and like I said if you wanted to find those waves more you can take clips and hold them and spray and kind of tweak them. That's more for kind of a going out a special day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. And I hope you like the videos. And let me know what you want to see. If you want to see more talking videos, more where I just do it all, whatever. Okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye.